Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is just a brief video to explain something that I've done quite spontaneously today. Uh, and it's really directed at folks out there who might own one of the Unreal Toys unwired capes for the Hot Toys Batman vs Superman regular suit Batman. It's a fantastic cape. I've got to be honest, it's probably my favorite cape that I own uh, custom cape wise uh, for this particular figure. Uh, I've got the Jackson XU cape on the Batman Returns there and I'm totally in love with that right now. I just love the way it falls and I love how sleek it is. And I've uh, got the wired Unreal Toys cape over there. And as I say, this is the unwired regular suit Batman Unreal Toys cape. It's all quite confusing, so I won't go on about that anymore. So I don't want to confuse you guys with all the different capes and the guys who make them. So what I've done is um, this cape is fantastic, but it's just a bit too long. So I wanted to take some of the length off it. But the reason that's such a scary prospect is because you have to factor in the folds that you have to make yourself with this cape to get the movie accurate pleats over the shoulder and you can't just take this cape off and lay it flat on a table and then just cut the length off the end because of that you have to factor in that this is going to fold over and it all has to be even so i was thinking to myself how am i going to do that i always knew how to do it i just thought i don't know if i'll ever actually bother to do that because if i screw it up then um, i'd have to go ahead and get another cape so i figured best thing to do if you're gonna do it, get the cape in the position that it needs to stay in. And once everything is perfectly in position, you get those pleats right, once everything is really as it should be, then I took the Hot Toys Dynamic Stand. This was a gift from Ezarez on YouTube. That's Sven, thank you very much, dude. Still getting a lot of use out of this. So uh, let me just put a cut in here and I'll show you exactly how I did it rather than describing it. All right, here you go. So this is how I did it. I. Um got the cape in the position that I know it needs to stay in get it all hanging down neatly and obviously before I cut the cape you can see there it's not maybe it is even it's yeah it's fine because I did cut it dead straight it's just the way there's so many sort of folds of cape here it's just kind of doing its own thing plus I'm not finished I actually need to go in and do all the little bits of rough you know fraying at the ends from where it's been dragging on the ground and then I want to go in with some kind of brown and black paints and just kind of create a bit of like Hot Toys did on their stock cape, the look that it's been dragging in the mud. Uh, but so this is how I actually cut the cape. I got it all into the position that I wanted it to be in. And then I just held it like this in a much sort of smaller clump. Like I can't do it now because I'm filming with my other hand. So I can't get two hands out and show you exactly how I cut this. But you can see he's hanging above the ground. The feet aren't touching the ground, obviously. And the cape is not touching the ground. That way you can get a really good measurement of where you want the cape to be. I wanted it to be just past his feet so that it's still touching the ground because as long as the cape is still touching the ground you can manipulate it and pose it. If it's not touching the ground it's just going to fall and do what it does. Uh, so that's what I done. That's what I done did. Well that's what I've started to do anyway. I want to go in and tweak a few little things like I say. Just want to make the ends look better. But that is how I cut it. I took about this much material off and you've got to use a good scissors uh, this is a hair cutting scissors and it's really sharp really good for cutting any kind of material uh, but that is how i went about cutting my cape so i don't know if you don't have one of these particular stands you could always figure out another way to hold them up off the ground that is the best way to do that you just get them standing up again properly all right, and that's it really, just to show you that and how effective it was. It's uh, That's definitely the technique I would use for cutting this cape if you are going to do that, because it's all about factoring in this fold here. And uh, as I say, if you were to take the cape and lay it flat on the table and just cut around the whole cape to take length off it, you would screw up uh, the length of the cape here. This would probably, like this section, would probably be a lot shorter than the rest of the cape and it would look very strange. So that is the only way you can really do it. And I'm not suggesting everyone with an Unreal Toys unwired cape goes and does that right now. It's just something that I've wanted to do for a little while because I love this cape. I just wanted it to be a little bit shorter to make it a bit more movie accurate. And now it is. And it falls great because it's still touching the ground so I can still manipulate it and move it around so you can do things like that if you want. Or have it right down at the back going nice and flat. It's got a hell of a natural fall to it. It doesn't puff out or look silly excellent excellent cape so guys uh, just wanted to show you to do that or how to do it if you have been thinking about doing it yourself that is a good technique for making sure that you don't screw up the balance of the cape so yeah i'll keep it short and sweet he's looking even more awesome than he already did 
Absolutely love this figure. Still get a kick out of it every single day and it's been quite a while now. Alright guys, Harley Quinn is on the way, should be here Monday. Stay tuned.